Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. The Throwdown webinar is right now. Uh, you've arrived. You've made it. We're going to go over all the details with you today. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're brought to you by Throwdown, the official training dough of the U.S. Pizza Team and PMQ Pizza Magazine. That's the business magazine for the pizza industry. Now, in this Learn to Throw Dough webinar, you know, you're going to find out a ton of stuff. We've only got an hour, but we're going to work a whole bunch in. Uh, and by the way, at any point in time, if you got a question, Sarah Beth is alongside. She'll get to your questions. We'll get them answered uh, just as fast as humanly possible. Uh, that's what we like to do over here. And uh, in this Throw Dough webinar, we're not just stretching it up over here, okay? Yeah, you probably have a pretty good base on slapping out a pizza dough. Uh, we're doing tricks with the pizza dough, and you know, to the naked eye, it's borderline mesmerizing to uh, to your customer base that'll come in and see it. Um, you know, you can learn pizza spinning. Uh, it can be big business for your pizzeria. It can be substantially big business. Uh, get a kids' night going. Uh, be the authority on pizza spinning in your area. You can make that happen. Um, you know, and impress your customers. Uh, engage kids, teach them, teach them some tricks that we'll go over today. Uh, they're going to love it. And uh, you can even entice new customers. And then, uh, you know, they can watch the show with their dinner or their lunch. You have a breakfast pizza. You know, they can have it with the breakfast. Um, it's a lot of fun. And it can even turn into some massive profits. Hey, Chris, we already have a question. Good Lord. Yeah. Um, they ask, if I don't have an official Throdo, is there anything else I can use to practice? That came in from Don. Yeah, Don, if you don't have a Throdo, first of all, what are you doing? You need a Throdo. Uh, we got a special right now. Uh, you get three. You got your fourth one for nothing, absolutely free. That's at Throdo.com. Uh, you can make dough, you know, and throw that around. That's what they actually use in the competition. High gluten, high protein, a lot of salt. Uh, you can get that going, uh, but you know, you could also use like a towel, you know, uh, ideally cut it into a circle. Um, you know, the great pizza spinners of our generation, they like to uh, stitch it together. So two circular towels of the same size, you can do that. Uh, good question. Keep those coming. Uh, Sarah Beth will get to them. Good question. Thank you, Don. Uh, well, good to meet you. My name is Chris Green, U.S. Pizza Team, uh, former trainer. Uh, world champion pizza spinner, um, had a chance to travel to a lot of locales, spinning pizza dough, uh, absolutely fantastic. But, you know, I, I've had a chance to train with some great pizza spinners, absolutely uh, just huge talents. I want to tell you about some of them. Uh, the one and only Juan Hermosillo, been a part of a ton of national campaigns, um, I actually competed against Juan at the North American Pizza Championship. He won. I was uh, I was runner up, but I thought it was kind of close. But anyway, he's the champion. Uh, he won a ton of stuff. Huge national campaigns. You probably saw him in a Visa commercial uh, not too long ago. Uh, also, Jamie Culleton. That's the man right there. Two-time world champion pizza spinner. Uh, he's medaled like a thousand times. I, th I think technically like 30 times, but... Uh, just super talented as well. Look at Wilhelm Rodriguez. Guy runs the most successful pizzeria in Puerto Rico. Um, I was in the Macy's Day Parade, and uh, Wilhelm was there as well. Uh, an absolute innovator, always inventing new tricks. And uh, Ryan LaRose, Ryan LaRose, uh, Ryan and I and Sam Niemeyer, we were on uh, Jimmy Kimmel one time throwing pizza dough. Ryan LaRose is the killer, uh, absolute talent in the pizza spinning world. There are a ton of other guys that, that I picked up some stuff from, but uh, those are some right there as well. Now, um, a, a quick reminder, you can always get those questions in. Sarah Beth will field them. Sarah Beth, you don't mind taking the questions, right? I don't. We have one in right now. Sure, we go. Um, we have one from Jennifer. Can you purchase Throto in the UK? Yeah, you can get it in the UK. Um, yeah, not a problem. Uh, we were working out um, uh, the tariff uh, issue earlier, but that's all sorted out. UK, we're okay. Not a problem. Good question. So just go to Throdo.com and 
That's right. Throto.com. Right now, we got a huge special. You get three, you got the fourth one free uh, on regular Throto's. Uh, good question. Thank you. Um, now, look, there are a lot of different pizza spinning tricks. All right, we're going to go over some of them today, but the list of pizza spinning tricks, they vary greatly. Uh, you know, starting with the basic toss, but you get people out there that are doing two, three, four. There was one guy doing five pizza doughs at the same time, right? Um, you know, you'll see people kick like a pizza dough off their foot. You know, they're break dancing while throwing pizza dough, uh, doing handstands while throwing pizza dough. It's madness. But we're going to go over some that you can use in your pizzeria and then even make a pizza with afterwards. And then we'll go over some that you might not want to make a pizza with afterwards. It's going to be... Oh, yeah. We have another um, question and about that. Um, yes. It says, um, if I if I do want to use the dough for a pizza afterwards, does it change how it cooks to do the tricks with it? Um, that came from Scotty. Yeah, Scotty, if you're using like a, a recipe um, that you want to uh, back up for a second. So at PMQ.com, we've got an acrobatic pizza dough throwing recipe, uh, which is going to have a lot of salt high gluten, high protein. You can go ahead and download that recipe. And we've been in competitions where we've eaten the pizza dough after you know we threw it around. It's very salty. You know, you ideally want to use your own dough that you're using in your restaurant, but just you know get it to come out of like a, a freezer, you know, so it's kind of cold. You need a little bit more time to slap it out. Uh, so you're gonna have your consistent delicious recipe that you've you know, uh, no doubt cultivated over the years. So, yeah, your acrobatic throwing pizza dough recipe, it's going to be a little bit salty. Scott. So, so if they use their um, dough from their restaurant and they do the spinning tricks and then just sort of slap it out to a regular size pizza, it's not going to change, like, it's not going to get tougher. Yeah, I mean, or anything. you know, if you've got naturally soft dough, you're not going to really be able to do that many tricks, you know, before it's time to slap it slap it out, put some sauce on it, some cheese, some delicious toppings. So, yeah, ultimately... Um, ideally, yeah. you'd have a throw dough. Yeah, okay. ideally, for practice purposes, I mean, you'll want to throw it out. You don't want to necessarily waste dough to practice with. Um, so it's not going to change the integrity of your pizza. Um, yeah, yeah, good question. Thank you, Scott. Um, Appreciate it. Yeah, but again, yeah, get those questions in. Sarah Beth will field them, no problem. Um, so let, let's talk a little bit about what we're going to go over today. Uh, we will touch on throw dough. We're going to touch on the U.S. pizza team. But the tricks we're talking about, uh, we will learn today the basic toss, uh, which you probably have a variation of that that you're using right now, uh, the whip, which is just essential as a transitional move um, you know, from going from, from trick to trick. So the whip is going to be very significant. Uh, behind the back, that's a good trick as well. Uh, the whip will be handy for that one. Uh, under the leg is a good one. Over the shoulder. And everyone's favorite, well, my favorite, down the shoulder. Absolutely excellent trick. So we're going to go over all of these. But let's start with the basic toss. All right. We're going to start with the basic toss. And uh, you should have some images uh, down here, you know, it's broken down for you. Uh, let's just start with our four fingers together and our thumb out. Um, you're kind of using a frisbee like motion. And then you morph that frisbee like motion into shooting a basketball. You've shot a basketball before. You know that when you do it, you got to follow through. Uh, it's the same concept. It needs to go off your fingertips. So let's have a look. Four fingers together, thumb out. It's like throwing a frisbee morphed into shooting a basketball. Okay. So just place the dough, palm up, four fingers together, thumb out, uh, follow through. Frisbee like throwing motion. Morphed into a basketball off the fingertips. Basic toss. Now, you can end it right there. You can end your toss right there and just kind of hand stretch it out. But no, we don't want to end it there. We want to keep going. Um, what you need to ask yourself, too, is what is your dominant throwing hand? 
you should just kind of take a pizza dough, take a throw dough, and throw it into the air and say, which one is my dominant hand? This is going to be significant because ultimately you'll, you'll probably want to do the one hand spin afterwards. So if you're starting with your left hand, four fingers together, thumb out, you know, it's going to end up going into your right hand. So you probably, if you're right handed, want to start with your left. And if you're left handed, you probably want to start with your right. So you'll end in that uh, uh, one hand spin position. All right, so some of the keys uh, to remember uh, with the basic toss, very important to remember, four fingers together, thumb out, uh, frisbee-like throwing motion, uh, morphed into shooting a basketball. And we'll have all these videos available for you uh, in the video section. Also, you can go to uh, YouTube and just search Pizza TV, and we'll have all these tricks for you in slow motion. And I don't forget that we absolutely love answering questions. We're in the question answering business. Sarah Beth is on hand and she likes answering questions. Do we have any, do we have we any do, questions? We do, we do, I didn't want to interrupt you, but we do um, have another question. They want to know, how did you start um, throwing dough? That's from Tony. Uh, Tony, thank you for your question. Um, well, I mentioned, you know, four fingers together, thumb out. That's how you start throwing. No, no, uh, just kidding. Uh, yeah, no, I was, uh, you know, involved with PMQ for a long time. Uh, my parents published the magazine, Steve Linda Green. Uh, loved it very much. Uh, so I had a chance to go to Salsa Maggiore, Italy, years ago. And I saw these guys walking around with pizza, little kids walking around with pizza dough. And, uh, you know, I just practiced. You know, I knew how to juggle at the time. So I just, you know, messed with it, practiced, and I got decent at it. So. Yeah, you know, practice. Practice makes perfect. So that's how I got that. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. I appreciate that. Uh, let's get back into it now. Uh, we are moving on to the whip. The whip is an absolutely essential, essential trick. This one right here is the transitional move uh, between all tricks. So it's very handy. It's very handy. All right. Uh, what you want to do is you want to place your hand in what I like to call a low five twist position. Okay. Now imagine someone coming up on you, giving you a, a, a low five. Sarah Beth, would you help me out with the, the low five here? Get up. Thank you very much. All right. So you just take that hand gesture and place it in front of you. This can be very handy for you because we already know how to do the basic toss. When your dough is descending off of the basic toss, you want to catch it in that low five twist position. So let's have a look. We got our basic toss, we already know. Four fingers together, thumb out. Frisbee-like throwing motion. The dough is parallel to the ground, and as it's descending, catch it in that low five twist position right in front, uh, right at six o'clock, okay? Now what you wanna do is after you catch it at six o'clock, bring your dough back around, to uh, 12 o'clock and just try to bring it around a couple times and just keep releasing at six o'clock okay basic toss we're going to catch it at 6 p.m rotate to 12 and then just let it go and just so all the attendees know if you um pull on the little handle below the video of chris you can enlarge that part of the screen so that you can see the tricks better. That's right, right in this region, right? Right, right there, yep, you're yep. pointing right at it. You just move that up or pull it down a little bit yep. and get a bigger shot. All right, so we're just catching right at six o'clock. Here we go. And rotate it around at 12 o'clock. Just try this a couple times to get your bearings. And when you got your bearings, we're gonna invert the dough back on top of the, itself in a figure eight motion. Okay, six to twelve. Rotate back around here. Invert the dough and do a figure eight motion. Okay. Now to complete the trick, it looks something like this. You did it. You're doing the whip. That one is important. Uh, that's the transition for all tricks. And I think you've got some pictures of uh, of the the trick broken down for you and. Don't forget that you can uh, view all the videos uh, in the video section. Also uh, on YouTube, just search 
uh, pizza TV. You can see all these tricks in slow motion. But with the whip, you gotta remember, gotta remember four fingers together uh, in a clasp with your thumb on one side. Um, so what you wanna do is um, just take the hand position uh, that we talked about, the uh, uh, low five twist position right in front of you. Uh, when your dough's on the way down, catch it at six o'clock and then rotate to 12 o'clock. Do that figure eight motion and then, you know, release the dough at six o'clock and you did it. You're doing the whip. I knew you could do it. Nice job. All right. Now, there are a lot of tricks that the whip transitions into, but first, uh, let's talk a little bit about throw dough. Uh, throw dough, you know, it's the official dough of the U.S. pizza team. Uh, we'll get to some uh, some tricks here in a second, but uh, big thank you to Steve Carb. Steve Carb invented uh, throw dough because, you know, a lot of pizza guys and gals up there were tired of wasting uh, dough uh, on their dough, you know. So, you know, throw dough was invented kind of as a practice tool. And so we, um, have a, we have another question that just came in. All right. Um, they want to know, um, Ann wants to know, can you buy different colors of throw dough? Yeah, Ann, that's a, that's a great question. And, uh, you know, always feel free as well to send us a message on our throw dough, throw dough Facebook page. Um, you know, right now we can, we can make the dough glow. We've been toying around with different color combinations. Um, you know, as of now, we've just kind of got the dough colored um, throw dough. But... Um, we have capabilities. We can do personal orders and things like that. If you want to just send us a message, uh, we could get you some different color dough and stuff like that. Just throwdough.com. Um, yeah, but yeah, always feel free to send us a message. We can uh, get you something personal out. Uh, like I said, right now, get three doughs, you get a fourth one free. And, uh, you know, we can definitely get you something glowing and uh, change the color up for you as well. And so we have thank you. one more one more question about um, throw dough. So it says, what is involved with being a competitive pizza spinner and what, what could you win? That's from Mike. Yeah, Mike, that's, that's a good question. So um, we've got a lot of, you know, pizza spinning, uh, U.S. pizza team sanctioned events coming up, um, you know, not only in the acrobatics category, which is the dough throwing, the largest dough stretch and the fastest pizza maker, but we got a lot of culinary events as well coming up and, uh, when you win one of these qualifying uh, U.S. pizza team competitions, uh, you get a spot on the U.S. pizza team, and then uh, you get an all-expense-paid trip uh, to an international competition. Um, now, you know, if you end up winning in Italy at the World Pizza Championship, uh, which you won is, you know, a lot of publicity for your pizzeria because, you know, when you can say you're a world champion, you know, at the you know world level, you know, a lot of newspapers, you know, media outlets, they get very excited about that. Um, so ultimately, yeah, money at the end of the day is what you get as a result of uh, winning some competitions. Good question. But yeah, um, all right, let's just keep on rolling then. Um, that's kind of throw dough in a nutshell. Thank you, Steve Carb, for making it happen. Uh, Throwdo.com, great way to find out more information about it. Uh, but we'll get into behind the back, which is a very, very handy trick. Uh, one that, you know, you probably want to use your basic toss for and your uh, whip. And we just learned them. So just recap real quick. Uh, you got your basic toss, four fingers together, thumb out. frisbee like throwing motion morphed into a basketball. When it's on its way down, just catch it in that low five twist position. Should look something like that. And then you just make a whip happen, but you're just gonna do it behind your back. Okay, so just reach around your back and you're doing it, you did it. Now, to finish the trick, I should have mentioned this earlier. Uh, if you wanna do the left hand whip, you know, that looks a lot like the right hand whip, except it's the mirror image. I guess it's gonna look something like this. And the left hand whip is, uh, is going to be handy when you're doing the behind the back. Basic toss into the whip, behind your back, catch it with your left hand whip. Or you can basic toss 
into the whip, catch it with your right hand, uh, low five, twist, hand position. Then you're doing it. Nice going. That is behind the back. It's important to remember when you're dealing with behind the back to uh, just basically do a whip. Uh, just wrap your arm behind your back, uh, wait for the dough to pop out, and then catch it with the left hand uh, whip or with the low five twist hand position uh, with your right hand. And uh, again, I will have all of these videos uh, in the video section, or you can go to YouTube and just search uh, Pizza TV to see some of these tricks broken down. You get some pictures. Um, you could also reference as well uh, behind the back. And again, uh, get your questions in. Sarah Beth will field them. Sarah Beth doesn't mind fielding the questions. Okay. Uh, send me all the questions you got. She didn't mind. So we'll, we'll get those going as well. And a little later on, we're going to mention uh, ways that you can join the U.S. Pizza Team and uh, some uh, upcoming events where you can win a spot on the U.S. Pizza Team. But, uh, but first, let's go through another trick here. Um, under the leg which is awfully similar to behind the back in its execution. So let's, let's go over here. Under the leg, this, this is a fun one right here. Uh, it's just like your basic toss from earlier. Basic toss into a whip position. Uh, similar to behind the back that you do a whip into the next maneuver, but it's just under your leg. So here we go. Basic toss into a whip. Or you're just going to raise... Any leg you want. Here we go. Just reach right under your knee and release. Right there at six o'clock on the bottom of your dough. When you do your basic toss, you'll be parallel to the ground, catching that low five twist hand position, and just work a whip right under your knee. And then when it pops up, you can finish with your left hand whip, or you can finish with your right hand in the uh, low five twist position. And you're done. We have a, another question that just came in, Chris. All right. Um, it says, from, from Larry, how can I start spinning with one hand without starting with the basic toss? Who's that? That's from Larry. Larry, you don't want to start with the basic toss? That's, that's all right. That's all right. Um, you want to do the one hand spin without starting a basic toss. There, you know, there, here's one way you can do that. Um, or just to recap, if you are doing the basic toss into a one hand spin, uh, you gotta ask yourself, what's your dominant hand? So I'm right-handed, so I wanna start with my left hand. Four fingers together, thumb out, like throwing a frisbee uh, off the fingertips into the right hand. Ultimately, what you're doing there is you're just passing it back into the same hand and you will find a window. Eventually, you'll find that center of gravity, and you'll be spinning your dough with one hand. But if you don't, if you want to bypass that, uh, that that's all right. Uh, what you can do is just take your right hand, if you're right-handed, um, just kind of leave a little space with your fingers open. You want to just kind of do a little hop with the back of your hand, and then turn it into a counterclockwise twist position here with your hand. So some, something like that. All right. Oh, it looks like we uh, we got a message from uh, the U.S. Pizza Team coordinator. He's clarifying um, about winning places on the team. He says that you don't win places on the U.S. Pizza Team for largest or fastest box folding. Largest um, dough spent dough, largest dough, and then yeah. fastest box spinning. You only first place in freestyle wins a spot on the team and the trip to Italy to the World Pizza Championship. Okay. Um, so yeah, just uh, clarifying that. That's okay. That's that's perfect. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate that, U.S. Pizza Team coordinator. So the um, we're going to talk a little bit about these upcoming events here in a little bit. So it's going to be all about the uh, freestyle acrobatics then. I'm sure you'll get some hardware, you know, for largest stretch, um, you know, fastest pizza maker and box folding as well. You can hang up in your pizzeria and stuff. But uh, for your chance to win uh, a spot on the U.S. pizza team, uh, that's going to be solely uh, the freestyle acrobatics. 
which is going to be coming up uh, in Columbus at the Mid America Restaurant Expo. We'll talk more about that. And, uh, and yeah, we'll find out about that. Thank you, Brian. We appreciate that. That's important to know. At one point in time, it was kind of like a triathlon, but uh, you know, well, it was 2018 now. So here we go. All right, so we touched a little bit about under the leg. And um, there are some things to remember about under the leg. Um, four fingers together, thumb out in a clasp when you're holding your dough uh, in that whip-like motion. Okay, just lift up one of your knees, one of your legs, let that dough pop up, and then catch it, you know, in that uh, right-hand low five twist hand position, or you could do a left-hand whip, or you could even like do like a little steer uh, from 6 p.m. to 12 o'clock back into your hand. It looks something like this. Just to, just to bring it back to your dominant hand. All right, it's under the leg. You're doing it. You did it. Nice job. And again, you can get those questions in at any time. Sarah Beth likes taking questions. And I like answering questions. Um, Let's move on to uh, over the shoulder. Over the shoulder is a lot of fun right here. And you can use this one in your pizzeria. Uh, you got to be careful, you know, obviously, you know, you don't want to get it on your back. But if you execute it properly, you'll have plenty of clearance and it's not going to be on your back. So you, you'll be absolutely fine. All right. So let's get right into it here. Uh, if we're doing the over the shoulder procedure, what you want to look at is your basic toss, all right? Four fingers together, thumb out. It's a frisbee-like throw in motion, and just follow through with your fingertips. Now, when it's on its way down, you know, parallel to the ground, catch it in that low five twist hand position, and just kind of turn it in this manner, you know, from 6 p.m. to midnight, and then invert the dough back into that figure eight-like motion. Um, so yeah, it's going to look something like this. Uh, actually, you know, let's just do a 6 p.m. to midnight little quick steer after we throw our basic toss. So something like that. And what it's going to do, you're going to want to step in the direction that your dough is traveling. So when your dough is kind of at the peak of its arc, you want to just step through so you have enough room to catch it with your left hand uh, whip position. All right, it's going to look something like this. Basic toss that goes parallel to the ground. Catch it in your low five twist hand position. Turn it from 6 p.m. to midnight. And that dough is going to travel over your shoulder. Do a quick side step and then catch it with your left hand whip position. Here we go. Now, if you execute that right, you get plenty of clearance. The dough is not going to touch your back. And, uh, you know, you can... Slap that dough out and you can you can eat it. But if it's on your back, you might not want to eat it. You know, or your customer's probably not going to be too excited about that. So just make sure you have plenty of clearance. You know, you'll probably want to practice with the throw it out. Hey Chris, while you're up there um, demonstrating, someone has sent in a question. They say it's cool when you um, do the one finger spin. It looks simple, but it, it's probably hard. How do you do it? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Who's uh, who's that coming from? That's from Rich. All right, Rich, if you're doing the one-hand spin, it's really all in your initial takeoff. All right, what you want to do, like I said, if you're right-handed, you probably want to start with your left hand. You know, going four fingers together, thumb out, that frisbee-like throw in motion. If you've got enough centripetal force going, uh, your dough will naturally transition into your dominant hand here. So to kind of get... Uh, you know, comfortable with that, you can start with your basic toss and then just keep bridging that gap over and over again. And eventually you're going to find that center of gravity rich and you're going to be throwing up. You're going to be spinning with the one hand. And you, you got to practice, but uh, Rich, you know, I have the utmost faith in you there. Just uh, Is it kind of like a hula hoop? Like once you get it going, you just have to... I'll be honest with you, I, I'm so bad at the hula hoop. <laughs> The hula hoop sounds impossible. I can't, I can't speak eloquently on the hula hoop, but I, yeah, I mean, it could be, you know, they're both round. 
<laughs> yeah, true, true. no question about that. But, uh, but yeah, but thank you for your question, Rich. Uh, let's keep those coming. Uh, Sarah Beth likes answering questions, fielding them. I like answering them as well. Uh, quick recap on the over the shoulder. Um, some important things to remember. Um, you know, throw your dough in your basic um, basic toss position, and then uh, you know catch it in that low five twist hand position. Uh, give yourself a turn from 6 p.m. to uh, 12 o'clock, and then uh, what is most essential is that you kind of give like a quick steer, and your dough is going to travel over your shoulder, and just do a little side step. And then you got your left hand uh, uh, whip with your left hand. You're be in good shape. All right, before we get into the down the shoulder, which in my opinion is the greatest trick of our generation, uh, let's talk a little bit about the United States pizza team. Uh, we've gotten a few questions about that. You know, how can you get on the team and, uh, and stuff like that? You know, we have some events that are coming up. Uh, we've actually got a culinary event, which is like this week, uh, it's August 27th through the 28th. Uh, it's the 2018 West Coast Pizza Cup. And, um, you know, it's culinary. It's going to be in uh, California, uh, Oceanside. So uh, you want to get out to that one, uspizzateam.com. You'll find out more information on that. Um, it's a good opportunity, you know, for the culinary side of it. Now, if you're looking for an acrobatic competition, which is gonna be pizza spinning, you gotta take part in the uh, Mid-American Restaurant Expo. That's January 13th through the 14th. That's gonna be in Columbus, Ohio. And uh, they're gonna crown a, a new US pizza team member. So you wanna make sure you get out to that. And um, we have uh, one, another question then from um, Karen about the US pizza team. She wants to know, are there men and women on the U.S. pizza team, and how many members are there? Karen, uh, you don't have to worry. Yeah, we're taking both men and women, uh, most definitely. Uh, you know, we got about 30, but, you know, uh, we're looking for 31 uh, this week, you know, on the culinary side at the West Coast Pizza Expo. Uh, excellent question. Thank you, Karen, for that. Uh, on the acrobatic side, don't forget, the Mid-America Restaurant Expo. That's in Columbus, 13th through the 14th of January. And, uh, and I skipped one, I skipped one. November 4th in Cleveland, get another opportunity for you to get on the US pizza team uh, in Cleveland. November 4th on the culinary side. All right, good questions. And, and so while we're speaking about um, pizza team members, this is sort of related to that. Um, it's um, Jennifer wants to know how difficult would it be to set up a pizza throwing team in my own small country. She says hello from the Isle of, Ma of Man, Isle of, Isle of Man. Sorry, Jennifer, if I'm saying that wrong. Yeah, Jennifer, I mean, if, if you're trying to start your own team, there are usually, you know, quite a few teams represented uh, at the World Pizza Championships in Parma. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, if Isle of Man is represented over there, but you know they could possibly uh, use some representation at the uh, uh, World Pizza Championships in, in Parma. Uh, USPizzaTeam.com is an absolutely excellent resource um, to to check out, so you should do it. And uh, yeah, start start a pizza team. You know, get to some uh, qualifying events. And and people do compete um, as independents as well. Absolutely, yeah, you can do that as well. I mean. There are all kinds of fields you can get into. Uh, you get the culinary side of it, of course. Uh, you know, you can win a spot with the freestyle acrobatics, but you can also win some hardware at some of the other events like the uh, largest dough stretch, uh, fastest pizza maker, uh, box folding. But um, yeah, Jennifer, I, excellent I believe question. A, I believe an um, independent um, won for the U.S. this past year. Um, she wasn't affiliated with any team, and, and she won. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you, absolutely. Yeah, you could do it independent, or you could even start your own team. It's, a, it's however far you want to take it. Yeah, but there are all kinds of avenues for you there, for sure. Good question. Appreciate that. And you can get those in at any time. Yeah, any more questions about um, U.S. pizza team? Just keep them coming. We'd be happy to get to it. 
Oh, someone uh, wants to know, are there dues to be a member of US Pizza Team? That's from uh, Michaela. Yeah, so you actually can get a uh, year membership on the US Pizza Team for $200. Uh, you know, those will be your yearly dues. So you can get a spot uh, today. Um, that, that's what those would be involved with. Um, so yeah, uspizzateam.com to find out a little bit more about that. Michaela, thank you for that question. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, feel free to throw in any more questions that, that you might have. We just love answering questions. I don't know what it is. We just enjoy answering it's, questions. It's strange. fun. It, it makes the hour go by and we learn and have fun and talk to all the attendees. That's it's right. great. Uh, let's go over a quick recap of the uh, the basic toss real quick. Uh, four fingers together, thumb out. Frisbee-like throwing motion. Every, you've thrown a Frisbee before. Everyone's thrown a Frisbee. Uh, Frisbee-like throwing motion, and then morph that into shooting a basketball off the fingertips. You know, a lot of times I hear, you know, that people are having issues with the basic toss. Uh, because you know they're not following through completely um, so if you are kind of drawn back it's the same principle if you're shooting the basketball you got to follow through if you're kind of dialing it back a little bit your uh, your dough is going to be kind of sideways yeah you know, we don't need that we don't need our dough to be sideways that's the last thing we need so just make sure that you follow through you get enough momentum going and your dough is going to be parallel to the ground and you're gonna be fine. You'll be just fine. We uh, we got any more questions over there? Um, we did have another question. Um, maybe sort of in keeping with what you were just talking about. Um, Jamie wants to know. Um, he says his throw dough is getting sticky. Um, um, what what can he do? Uh, Jamie, now. Um, I guess he she. Could be a he. Now I don't know if you spilt something on your throw dough, and that's why it's sticky. Like maybe some soda pop. But, but probably that's probably not what you're talking about. If you've been throwing it for a while, uh, the flour like consistency we have on it will wear off and then it'll be kind of tacky and sticky. Hopefully that's what's going on, Jamie. Um, and if that is what's happening, uh, you are in luck because you just have to add some flour or some baby powder, some, uh, yeah, anything like that. I mean, I've seen people put sand, you know, Try to find some flour, but you can put sand on it. You know, it'll smooth it out right away, like instantly, and then you're ready to throw some more. So, yeah. Okay, while, while we're talking about the throw dough, we have a question from Rico. He says, where can I find a good dough recipe for tossing, or what would I want to achieve as an end result? Thanks, Rico. I'm, uh, you know what? Hey, this is Brian. Yeah, Sorry, like jumping in here. I appreciate that. Uh, Rico, that's going to depend on if you're trying to throw the dough around. If you want a good acrobatic pizza spinning recipe, is that what we're looking at, or is it kind of a? Uh, yeah, a I think he's pizza? he's looking for an acrobatic okay. recipe. I can three. I can answer. Probably six if you're going to include the dot com, but pmq dot com. Uh, a wealth of knowledge on there. Uh, they got a lot no. of uh, acrobatic dough throwing recipes. You can check out. Uh, you know, you'll find there's a lot of salt involved, high gluten, high protein. Um, and ultimately, you can use the same dough that you're using in your restaurant as well. Um, just make sure it's coming out of the freezer uh, kind of cold so you can do more with it. So, yeah, perfect question. Uh, thank you so much for that, Rico. We appreciate that. All right, I think uh, we're getting close to doing probably the greatest trick of our generation. It's the down the shoulder. You know, we mentioned this earlier. Uh, I had an opportunity to spin dough with a lot of great pizza spinners in the Macy's Day Parade. And probably the highlight was, you know, we're walking tons of blocks. There are a lot of people lining the side of the road. And you get real close and you do the down the shoulder. And then people just, oh, they jump, you know, because they don't see it coming. So we're going to teach you how to do down the shoulder so you can do that because everyone needs to know how to do that so let's get right into it if we don't have any more questions right now we'll just jump into the down the shoulder we I, I, we're caught up on our, our questions right now caught up for now all right yeah 
So let's jump into it. Down the shoulder, it's a great, great trick. Uh, and you can start it with uh, the basic toss and the whip, right? You start with the basic toss, catch it in that low five twist hand position, um, and then, you know, throw a whip together, and then make sure your dough is perpendicular to the ground. You want to kind of bring it up in a jerking-like motion, uh, hit the back of your neck. The dough will travel down your arm, and, and you did it. So let, let's break it down here. Uh, basic toss into your low five twist hand position. We're going to do a quick whip. And when your dough is parallel to the ground, just follow it down with your four fingers on top, thumb on the bottom, just like this. Bring it down to your side. And then quickly bring it up. And you're almost like slapping the back of your neck. All right. Uh, it's kind of an illusion. It looks like the dough is traveling down both your arms, but it's really going down this section of your arm right here. You want to make sure that your arm is in like a uh, slow down turn signal position. You know, you took driver's ed. That's what you got to do if your tail lights out. You try to slow down. Make that uh, arm gesture. All right. Send it down. And the reason you want your arm bent is so you have enough room to kind of go after it and then catch it with four fingers on one side, thumb on the other side in like a clasp. And then, um, yeah, make sure that you're palm away and not palm up because if you're palm up, it's going to be a little bit difficult to catch it. You can still catch it, but it'll be easier if you're palm away. Down well, the shoulder. While, while you're up, we have a couple more. Um, questions. Okay. Um, it says, I'm having trouble with the one hand spin. My throat keeps wrapping around my wrist. Hate that. Hate that. Who, who is that? That was from Bobby. Bobby, look, if your dough is wrapping around your wrist uh, with the one hand spin, it's likely that your initial toss, you hadn't picked up enough momentum. So it's all in your uh, initial takeoff. So remember, uh, you know, four fingers together, thumb out. It's like this frisbee motion. Get some, some triple force going. And then when your dough's on the way down, you know, catch it with your right hand. Uh, now, if it's going fast enough on the way down, you're spinning with one hand. Um, so, you know, don't, don't bypass the initial toss, you know, because it's going to be very important. Yes, it's on its way down. Bobby, you got the one hand spin. It shouldn't wrap around your wrist. It's going too slow. It could be some wraparound, and, you know, you and I both know, you know, we don't need that right now, so, yeah, the initial toss, make sure it's going quick enough, and, um, and you're doing the one-hand spin. We mentioned earlier some variations for doing a one-hand spin that, that doesn't involve the basic toss, uh, and, you know, again, you know, one way to do that would be, you know, just palm down, you know, with your fingers slightly open. You just got to kind of do a little hop with the back of your wrist here. And when the dough is kind of lifted off of the back of your hand, uh, blend it into a one hand spin position here, um, going, you know, clockwise when viewed from the bottom here. So it looks something like this. Yeah, so yeah, palm down, four fingers slightly open into a, a one hand spin. You make it look so easy, Chris. Scenario, well, you know, uh, Couple weeks. Couple Give it a couple weeks, weeks you can, and you'll be doing. Practice every day. Um, so we have another another question in, um, actually from Chris. Um, in. How many total tricks are there in spinning, and what would you consider an expert level trick? Yeah, I mean, you know, the thing about pizza spinning is it's a developing sport. I mean, there are guys that are, you know, inventing tricks every single day. Uh, Juan or Mosio just headed up. A great online, you know, freestyle pizza battle, online pizza freestyle battle. And guys are inventing tricks all the time. So I mean, if you've got about 20 tricks in your arsenal, you know, you'll probably be pretty competitive. But uh, you know, with these guidelines like, you know, the whip, uh, you can really transition and do a lot of tricks. So you can go clockwise, counterclockwise with your whip, uh, you know, which will open up other opportunities for transitions so you know it's a good idea to be able to uh to you know spin clockwise counterclockwise with both hands 
you know, that'll be, that'll be handy. And, um, you know, there are a lot of tricks that you can do with two does as well. And, you know, I'm sure as we continue, we'll get into more of those tricks and this is just beginner level stuff today, but, um, yeah, it's a developing sport, Chris. So there, there are tricks that, uh, that people are inventing. Chris also said, I've heard of a trick called a bicycle. Is that one hard to do? Chris, you know about that. All right. Um, so yeah, throwdo.com, you can have a look at the DVD and we got a ton of other tricks, but just go over it real quick. Uh, so the bicycle, it looks something like this. All right. It was not on our trick list today, but, uh, but that's the bicycle, yeah. And now you can also do it forwards as well. So that that's fun as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's the bicycle traditional and forwards. Uh, it's very handy. And all these tricks too. I mean, if it's not going all over the place, you can use them to uh, to make a pizza with as well. So. Really okay, handy. we have, have another quick question here. Yep. Um, in competition, do they use real dough? That's from Alika. 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 That's a good question. Yeah. In, in competition, we're using real dough, um, high gluten, high protein, a lot of salt. And a lot of times, the competition will provide the dough, or you can uh, make your own recipe as well. Um, so yeah, you're using real dough. This is a training device to kind of get you primed and ready for uh, for using real dough but yeah does, the does the competition um make the dough so that it's sort of like an even playing field for everyone yeah i mean you can go with the competition dough that they're making but it's always a good idea to make your own dough so you can just be guaranteed that you've got some mutant strength dough so you can just you know do tricks for days yeah at the same time though there are pizza spinners out there who can do a lot of tricks with soft dough you know, so ultimately it's going to depend on what kind of dough you like to uh, perform with. Well, this is just a question for me, uh, from for me actually. Yeah. How long does a photo last? Uh, pretty much forever. You know. Um, what if you What if you get a hole in it or something? Well, no, it's not going to last forever. Though. I mean, you can you, eventually you could get a hole in it. Um, uh, you know, you'll want to stay up on your dough. It depends on how hard you know rough you are with it as well. Uh, if you do get a hole in it, um, you want some adult supervision happening um, because what you can do is you can kind of mend the hole as well. Um, let's say, for example, you do have a hole in your throat. Out. Um, you can just kind of put a flame to it and just kind of overlay, uh, you know, the hole, you know, find the pieces to it. If you've got a chunk that's out, it could be a little bit more difficult, but you can still kind of mesh it together. Um, with with a lighter, you know, some fire. What would you compare the material Throto's made of, 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 like, to? Like a silly putty almost. Well, you know, it's it's similar to silly, silly putty in the sense that if you put it on a newspaper, you probably will make a copy of it. Mm -hmm. um, but, no, it's, it's a little bit tougher, you know, than silly putty. It's supposed to simulate uh, pizza dough. And, you know, you can actually get it in a couple different sizes. You've got a, a regular throw dough, then you've got a Titan, um, which is, this one's 13 inches, then you got a 19 inch Titan. Um, so you could copy a lot of newspaper, you know, just a little bit of newspaper, just depending on what you're into there. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's one of the similarities of silly putty would pretty much end. And you always want to kind of keep your dough in like a plastic bag or, a, you know, a throw dough traveling case or like a pizza box, you know, that's the best way to. It comes uh, delivered in a pizza box, so you can just sort of store it there, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can just keep it in the pizza box that it's delivered in. Um, again, right now, uh, you get three doughs. Uh, you got a fourth one free at throwdough.com. Those are regular traditional throw doughs, this size right here, 13 inch. And that's going uh, until October 1st. Um, so, yeah, you'll have a pizza box to oh. store it in. Looks like we have a couple good um, questions to sort of end with. We have we have 10 minutes left. Sure. Um, it says, uh, they ask, Larry ask, what is the coolest thing you've done because you spend dough? Well, 
Thank you, Larry. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I have, I have had a chance to do some fun, fun things for sure. Um, one time, uh, Ryan LaRose and I were on like a grocery store uh, pizza spinning tour, you know, where we would just go to a bunch of grocery stores around the country and, um, and spin pizza dough when we were doing a partnership with Bola. Uh, so that was a lot of fun, you know, because we love throwing dough around. Uh, Macy's Day Parade was excellent. Um, Wilhelm Rodriguez was in that, Jamie Carlton. Um, that was fun. I know what's that? Galbani sponsored like a, it was like a glass truck or something with spinners right, yeah. all inside of it, driving around the streets of Chicago. That's right. Galbani was involved with that, made that happen. Uh, a lot of, a lot of US Pizza team members were in the glass truck, you know, just spinning dough, driving through town. Out there. Must that have been was, a sight. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun too. Yeah, no, a ton of fun stuff. And we've had a chance to do some national media as well. Jimmy Kimmel, that was a lot of fun. Um, Aren't you on the Today Show? Yeah, the Today Show, Martha Stewart. Uh, one time, Paula Dean over there. You remember ESPN Cold Pizza? Yeah, we were on that one because I just thought that would be a great fit. Yeah. You know, so yeah, we did, we've done a ton of stuff. And uh, you're still doing more stuff. You know, it just gets bigger and bigger. Um, yeah, so hey, thank you. That's a good question. Appreciate that. Uh, most definitely. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, keep them coming. Yeah, we got a little bit more time here. We'll try to get to all of them. And if you need any recaps on any of the tricks that we've gone over today, um, basic toss, uh, the whip, uh, behind the back. We have another um, question that came in from uh, Blaine. Uh, how many countries compete at the World Pizza Championship? Yeah, thank you, Blaine. That's a good question. Uh, now it varies, you know, but it's usually very well represented. Uh, you're looking, you know, anywhere from you know 25 uh, to 30, but the competition just gets bigger every year. The World Pizza Championships in Italy, so you know, don't be surprised if it's 40, you know, 45 soon. More people competing in culinary than spinning, probably. Yeah, yeah, you got a lot of culinary experts out there. Um, and I'm glad you mentioned that we've got an opportunity for you to uh, win a spot on the U.S. pizza team in a culinary event, which is, I mean, just a few days away. Uh, that's going to be at the 2018 West Coast Pizza Cup. It's August 27th through the 28th at uh, Dominic's uh, Oceanside, uh, Oceanside, California. That's a, you know, uspizzateam.com to find out more information about that in the culinary division, but the next acrobatic competition, uh, which will be freestyle, uh, you win a spot. That's going to be at the uh, Mid-America Restaurant Expo in uh, Columbus, Ohio, January 13th uh, through the 14th. So another opportunity for you to win a spot on the U.S. pizza team. And you can watch for um, registration for that at uspizzateam.com. That's right. Yeah, check that out. And um, win your spot and represent the U.S., the World Pizza Championships. Yeah, you got a spot on the team if you win, and then you've got a, your airfare, lodging, and all that included uh, to compete in an international and when you, competition. And when you go to the World Pizza um, Championship with the team, the competition is held in Parma, but you also get cool excursions, vacation time a little bit, too. Yes, yes, you do, yeah. I mean, we've done, you know, all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, gone to some, you know, massive... Uh, you know, cheese factories, um, you know, uh, beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful out there anyway. But yeah, yeah, two years ago, we got to go to Bellagio Island. That was amazing. Yeah. So that's all going to happen as well. Uh, you know, when you win a spot. Um, so, yeah. So it's a good idea. It's a good idea all the way around. USPizzaTeam.com to find out more information about that. And there is yet another culinary competition for you to possibly take part in. Uh, November 4th, uh, you got a culinary competition in Cleveland uh, for another chance to win a spot on the U.S. pizza team, which you ought to do. You ought to do it. Okay, this, this might be a tough question for you, Chris. Um, Roger wants to know, how can I get my pizzeria in PMQ? Roger, Roger, thank you for asking that. Um, uh, you know what you need to do is... Uh, uh, holler at Bill, the uh, managing editor, uh, bill at pmq.com, 
And, you know, let them know what you got going on over there. And That's also, your, yeah. um, you know, being a part of the U.S. pizza team definitely gets your, your pizzeria noticed more. Absolutely. Yeah, there's some great opinion. success stories with, you know, past and present U.S. pizza team members who, you know, have really catapulted their their business, you know, with, uh, you know, media outlets would just seek you out, you know, when you're involved with, uh, you know, national competitions and being on the U.S. pizza team. Uh, it's really done some good, you know, for the pizza industry as a whole, uh, for sure. Yeah, good question. Appreciate that. Keep so Chris, we have five minutes left. I'm just going to um, scroll back through the, the tricks here. Yeah, let's uh, let's go over some. Um, we got the basic toss. We'll do, yeah, let's run through the basic toss one more time. Uh, so, yeah, four fingers together, thumb out, frisbee-like throwing motion, uh, morphed into shooting a basketball. Boom. And then, again, ask yourself what's your dominant hand, what you want to end up doing. Because if you're right-handed, then, you know, you might want to start with your left hand. So you can finish with that right hand spin. All right, so now let's talk about the whip. All right, so the whip is essential for just transitioning into other tricks. Um, you got your low five twist hand position. It's like if someone's giving you a, a low five back here. Uh, would you want, Sir Matthew, would you, would you be all interested in helping me out here? Appreciate that. See, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you. So low five twist hand position. Just bring it in front. You got your basic toss and catch it in that low five twist hand position. We'll just start it right there to begin with. And then just make a figure eight motion, holding it in that nature. Uh, release at 6 p.m. And then catch at 6 p.m. And you're doing it. You're doing the whip there. Very handy. And look, that'll bring us to our next trick. I think it's behind the back. Behind the back. Perfect. You get the whip going. Just do your whip motion behind your back. And it's easy. I mean, there are tricks that are still being invented today that are based around the whip. Behind the back is most certainly one of them. Uh, you can finish with your left hand whip, which is just the mirror image of the whip we were talking about. Just the mirror image right there. So yeah, one more time. Behind the back, finish with the left hand whip. Or All right, bring so now we're going to go to under the leg. All right, under the leg. Same principle with behind the back here. You got your whip-like motion. Just lift up one of your legs. Let's go with the right one. Boom. Just as soon as you um, bring your dough beneath your knee, just release. Your dough will pop up. You can catch it in that low five twist hand position. Or you can catch it with your left hand whip. Or you can even catch it with a quick steer back into your dominant hands, which is my right one. All right, so now we're going to do it over the shoulder real quick. Okay, over the shoulder, uh, you get your basic toss. When the dough is on its way down, parallel to the ground, catch it in that low five twist hand position. Just give it a quick steer from about 6 p.m. to 12 o'clock, and then step into it here. Step into the dough, and when your dough is kind of at its peak of the arc, step into it and then catch it with your left hand uh, whip position. Let's try it one more time. All right, perfect. All right. How are we doing on time here? All right, we got uh, two minutes, and we're to uh, the, the, the big finale, down the shoulder, your favorite. Down the shoulder, it's such a great trick. Okay, so uh, four fingers on one side, thumb on the uh, top side. Uh, have your dough you know, kind of perpendicular to the ground. Uh, bring it up quickly, kind of hit the back of your neck. And then you have your left arm ready to go, kind of up and in that slow down turn single position. And just kind of quick whip like motion right on the back of your neck. The dough will travel down your arm. And it's good that it's bent, so you have enough room to kind of go after it. Uh, catch it with your four fingers on one side, thumb on the other side, and a clasp. And you're doing the down the shoulder. It's a great trick. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. For today's webinar, we had a lot of fun. We're going to have more spinning have webinars. More. That's right. Chris Green and Sarah Beth, uh, really enjoyed having you. Throdo.com, uh, uspizzateam.com, pmq.com to have all of your pizza-related questions answered. And we 
enjoyed having you. Thanks for being here. We're gonna finish up with some pizza spinning maneuvers over here. Yeah. <laughs>